this is real life. This is not a movie. This is happening for real. And to hear firsthand, you know, some of the experiences that these doctors and nurses have gone through and to see their tired, exhausted faces, that's not going to leave you in a couple of days. That will stick with me probably for a lifetime. You know, we do our Thursday night thank you clap but I've, I've never been thanked so much in my life. And these are people who, when you take the chance to speak to them, these are people, many of them, who are right on the front line, genuinely. It's become a cliche in these times, but you say, what do you do? I'm in the acute ward. And you think, oh, really? I develop um, food for BA first class and business class. So yes, very, very, very different. I've never worked in a stadium before. Well, I do temporary electrics for building sites. So yeah, cooking toast or pulling in cables is completely different, yeah. Would you like some veggies? There we go, my darling, thank you. Look after yourself. Vitamin D outside. So I'm the head of um, culinary at Wembley Stadium. So um, yesterday we're knocking out about 6,000 meals and back down there tomorrow to knock some more out. Um, and we're doing all the COVID ward meals and the vulnerable meals. So um, it's good for some of them to come down and get fresh meal uh, served to them. It's been really fun. Like there's a lot of things that I've learned and like things I've experienced that I've never had before. And it's like out of my comfort zone. I've been on the exit door normally, um, so it's been emptying bins, looking after the coffee machine, helping anyone who, who looks like they're struggling the coffee people, supplying them with hot drinks, um, and it's just nothing like what I would do, but if my wife could see me do this, she would be absolutely totally surprised. How's your day going so far? Alright. Working up an appetite. <laughs> Hopefully this will sort you right out. <laughs> There's an element of um, staying at home which sort of desensitises the whole situation. There's nothing wrong with that, um, but I think when you come here and you see it for real, it, ma it makes it a lot more real. Um, you know, we're serving doctors and nurses uh, each day which are coming in with PPE masks, you know, lines on their faces. And a lot of these people, you know, you're trying to engage in conversation, but they are so exhausted that sometimes just a smile and, you know, handing over the food or the tea or coffee, that's, it, that's enough. Thank you. Have a good day. Because I haven't been outdoors in, like, a while, because I've only been here, it's been, like, a different experience, and it kind of shows, like, how much I appreciate, like, what I'm doing and, like, how I'm here. Nobody has put themselves out there to be noticed or appreciated particularly, but we all get a really warm sense of appreciation. It's, it's been really good to meet people from all walks of life uh, who've just chosen to do their little bit. It is, it is a very, very little bit. It's been really rewarding. My parents are nurses and so is my sister. My sister's in ITU in uh, Birmingham. Um, she doesn't really talk about it much, but it's just nice to to do something because I'm the only non-nurse in my family. So I thought, I need to do something. Have a good day. Same as. You're still smiling, do you know what? That's the main thing. First thing in here, we're serving up breakfast at seven, seven o'clock in the morning. People are coming off a 10 hour shift and I wouldn't blame them if they didn't want to talk about what they'd seen. So um, if we can hand over a fry up and if it puts a little smile on their face, then that's it, job done. I think um, that you can't really get any more rewarding than volunteering for a, a great cause. And um, look, I live in Watford and I know nothing about Watford Football Club, OK, the, uh, that, it, uh, that it's here. Uh, but now I know all about it and what have you, and the amount of work and volunteers they get and what they're doing is fantastic. You can tell how much they obviously need to refuel, and the refuelling side of it is what we're doing, but they are exhausted. And uh, if we are only doing one small bit to help then, you know, that's the least we should do. Burger ready? Oh, they are heroes and you go back feeling like you've done something good for yourself, you know, it's that inner warm feeling going back, you know, sit down on the sofa, you get a cuddle off your two-year-old and you say, yeah, I've done something good today. 
Yeah, I love doing this. I wish I could do it every day. <laughs> like, I'm just so used to it, but then when I get back, I'll just be like really upset because I won't be able to be here. Watford, as they have been since any of us can remember, are a neighbourly club. We are being neighbours uh, in a really practical and telling way. Hey guys, where are you going? Subscribe first. <laughs>